So hi everyone, this is Suraj Chopra and in this video we are going to implement linear regression model in Keras which is actually a deep learning library in just three lines of code. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so before getting started, I have uh, imported the required libraries and the uh, helper function to import the required data set. So I would just go through the code I have imported. Uh, so I, I am using a, a toy data set from SQLearn library, uh, which is diabetes data set and NumPy and Keras, Matplotlib and linear regression to just com compare the result, right? And uh, now helper function for importing the data set. So this get data function loads the diabetes data set, extract the features, extract the labels and normalize uh, just the labels because uh, the diabetes data set here uh, the features are in the range uh, minus 0.2 to 2.2 and the targets are in the range 25 to 346 so i have normalized just the targets or the labels and i am printing the features and i am returning the features and the labels and xy uh, and I am calling the get data function to retrieve the X and the Y. Right. So let's start with uh, the main thing that's building the linear regression model. Okay. So in linear regression, we have a hypothesis function uh, parameterized by theta, right, which is given as theta naught plus theta one X one plus theta to x2 till theta n xn where uh, x1 x2 xn are our features and theta naught theta 1 theta 2 and theta n are our weights right and this term is called the bias term okay now Vector representation of this hypothesis can be in the form of theta naught, theta one till theta n, and x naught, x one till x n, where this x naught is always equals to one, and it can be also represented as uh, simply as theta one, theta two, theta n, right, multiplied by x1 x2 xn plus the bias term which is nothing but theta okay so how can we implement this matrix multiplication operation or vector multiplication operation in keras library so let's see what all apis does keras provide us Keras actually only provide us with the deep learning API that is uh, the dense layer, the con layer, and etc. It does not provide it with uh, provide us with the uh, statistical machine learning algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, SVM, or etc. But actually, we can use this dense layer to mimic the uh, to Im implement this hy hypothesis function right so let, let's see how can we do this so let uh, let's say this is our input layer okay and the shape of this input layer is f comma one where f represents number of features right and let's add a dense layer with only one neuron A dense layer with only one neuron so let's see uh, how are the connections being made here so this is our first feature and this uh, the weight corresponding to first feature would be theta one this is our second feature weight corresponding to second feature would be theta two and similarly this is our nth feature weight corresponding to nth feature would be theta n and Keras dense api adds a bias term 
to every dense layer okay so what output we will obtain here and uh, be before that let's see what are weight matrices our weight matrix would be uh, theta 1 theta 2 theta n right and so what would be the output that we would obtain at this layer right the output would be w x plus bias right and this is simply the equation for any feed forward network any feed forward network right so this would be theta 1 theta 2 theta n x would come out to be x1 x2 xn and a bias term would be added so this output is same as the hypothesis equation for linear regression right so one thing that uh, one thing to note here is uh, gen generally in deep learning algorithms we add an activation at the end of the dense layer right but here since linear regression is a uh, linear regression algorithm involves only a linear transformation and no non-linear transformation thus uh, activation at the end of this dense layer would be none okay so a uh, long story short we have to implement this model in keras to implement linear regression algorithm also here uh, our loss function for lr loss function for lr is given as summation of h theta xi minus yi Kahul square which is nothing but uh, what is known as mean square loss okay mean square loss great so let's move on the implementation part so let's execute these cells so let's start building a model here model is equals to a sequential model which would be nothing but a dense layer with one neuron and input shape would be uh, input shape would be the number of features which is given here right 442 samples and 10 features and most importantly activation would be okay now what we are gonna do is we are gonna compile the model with the optimizer atom optimizer which basically adjusts our learning rate during the training process and then we are gonna use loss as mean square loss okay so now it's time to train the model so we are gonna do model dot fit and batch size equals to 8 epochs i'm gonna keep 200 and shuffle i'm gonna keep it true and validation split 0 0.1 and save all that it has to return in hst variable okay so it's time to train the model and you can see that the model is being trained now while it is training Let's write the result. Let's write the code to analyze the result of this model. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna plot uh, HST dot history. I'm gonna plot the loss uh, with green color, and I'm gonna plot the validation loss. Validation loss with red color, right? And see if they are decreasing as they should. 
okay so now our training is finished so let's see yes you can see that there is a smooth curve with de decreasing loss values for both uh, training loss and validation loss so our model is being trained quite well and next step I am going to do to analyze the result is uh, print the R2 score first I am going to give it the Y2 uh, Y predicted would be model dot predict X okay and <clears throat> what would be Y2 it would simply be Y and I'm gonna print the score so uh, it's giving out result to be 0 0.50 approx which is 50% okay now let's compare our result through uh, the linear regression algorithm implemented in sklearn so I am declaring a linear regression class I am fitting x comma y here and uh, let's print out this code okay so approximately uh, it's the same score what we can do is that we can increase the number of epochs and maybe uh, our, our Keras model for linear regression will achieve the same score as uh, the SQLearn model okay so that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one